Alright, hey everyone, and welcome to uh, another weekend of breaks. So we have two for tonight once again. Uh, we have... Yeah, let me mute that real quick. Yeah, so we have uh, another five-box hanger break for 2020 Mosaic Football. So doing another one of those, and then we're going to do our first uh, hobby break in uh, quite a while, I think. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do 2020 Topps Heritage Baseball. Uh, four boxes from a brand new sealed case here. So uh, we will be doing a third of that tonight for the first four boxes, I guess, from the shape of it, uh, the ones that are on top. So uh, yeah, looking forward to that. We've done some 2020 Heritage uh, Blasters a while back and some, some other past breaks. But yeah, haven't done the hobby for this yet, so looking forward to that. But yeah, we do have Mosaic first tonight, and uh, we will go ahead and jump right into that in a minute or two. Uh, we will give people a little bit more time to show up. Uh, we do still have, I think, five unsold teams that are available at four each, so we will do a last call for those. Uh, those teams are Atlanta, Chicago, Cleveland, Houston, and the New York Jets. So if you're interested in those, uh, just let me know in the chat, and we can take care of that at the last minute. Uh, otherwise, we will do a rundown for every team that we have here for the first break. And uh, yeah, if you guys can see and hear me right now, always just want to make sure uh, from anyone who's watching right now, looks like we do have more people coming in. So uh, looks good on my end. Always just want to make sure that it's good on yours as well. All right, so here's who we have uh, as of right now for Mosaic, uh, the five box hanger break, alphabetical by city by division, uh, Buffalo, Shadow Wolf 3000, Miami, The Fanatic, uh, New England, Shadow Wolf 3000, New York Jets, Unsold, Baltimore, ABC Taxi of Newport 1, Cincinnati, Seat 5, uh, Cleveland, Unsold, Pittsburgh, SCGO 36, Houston, Unsold, uh, Indianapolis, Thobo C0, uh, Jacksonville and Tennessee, Shadow Wolf 3000, Denver, JD Boz, Kansas City, Frankie J80, Las Vegas, Vindas Zero, uh, LA Chargers, SCGO 36, Dallas, Unbreakable 89, New York Giants, Arrow 8858, Philadelphia, SCGO 36, uh, Washington, Thobo C0, Chicago, Unsold, Detroit, Arrow 8858, Green Bay and Minnesota, both Frankie J80, Atlanta, Unsold, Carolina, Shadow Wolf 3000, New Orleans, Arrow 8858, Tampa Bay, Arizona, and the LA Rams, all Shadow Wolf 3000, San Francisco, Frankie J80, and Seattle Rabbit Sports Cards. All right, so uh, Shadow, do you want the rest of them as well? If so, uh, yeah, that sounds good. I can go ahead and mark you down for them. And yeah, well, yeah, I don't need to post the address. You have that memorized, so we are good there. And okay, awesome. Thanks for confirming there. And uh, yeah, with that, we can go ahead and start. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I apparently hit the table a little too hard and it'll be fine. <laughs> but yeah, uh, had to go back to the old kind of broken tripod when the new one was doing some dumb stuff and not working. Uh, but yeah, just have to make sure it's at the right angle there. All right, there we go. And yeah, my knees cannot hit the table here. So sorry about that. But yeah, we are, uh, we are ready to go here. <laughs> so yeah, my bad. Uh, all right, five bucks. Hanger box break, another one for 2020 Mosaic Football, the redder version of the hanger boxes. Yeah, that's a new thing. I, oh, okay, there we go. That's a new thing I'm not used to, is that with retail, there's like, for a lot of sets, there's now like three different versions of the same type. A retail box so there's and that happens sometimes you know between like Walmart and Target or whatever and Fanatics now but yeah it seems like with Mosaic it's every single one is just a different version 
and it's a little confusing. All right, so uh, here we go with another Mosaic football break. So yeah, let's have a big break. And uh, had a lot of great ones in the past. Had a great Mosaic run in particular, or not Mosaic, Genesis, of course. Uh, we'll always get Mosaics, but hopefully the Genesis run can continue tonight. So yeah, here we go. Good luck to all. All cards, including base, ship out for Mosaic, and all cards shipped out in sleeves as well to protect those surfaces. Uh, Lamar Jackson base for Baltimore, and we are going to have a backwards card to kick things off here, so that should mean an auto. Yes, it does. We have a rookie scripts. Uh, Joshua Kelly, rookie auto for the LA Chargers. So, nice one for the Chargers right off the bat there. I know, so close, but still a nice hit there nonetheless. Uh, SCGO 36, rookie scripts. Joshua Kelly, rookie autograph for the LA Chargers. And behind the Kelly, I saw a Genesis pattern. All right, so we do have a Genesis prism uh, tonight as well. And just like last time, uh, it is for the Vikings. So this one is the Neil Hunter uh, this time around. A Genesis Prism. All right, so we have an auto and a Genesis uh, literally in the very first box here before we've seen any other Prisms or rookies. So uh, yeah, feeling pretty good about this break tonight. Frankie J80 for Minnesota getting a Genesis here. That is the Neil Hunter. All right, so reactive uh, golds here. Always have to make sure I know which ones are gold and which ones are reactive orange with the hangers. Uh, these are reactive gold. Ryan Tannehill for Tennessee. Dwight Freeney, Indianapolis. Brian Erlocker, Hall of Fame for Chicago. And Melvin Gordon for Denver. Uh, Will to win, Julio Jones for Atlanta. Old school green mosaic prism, Roger Stahlbach for Dallas. Uh, rookie Chase Young for Washington, base rookie, Kenny Galladay, Pro Bowl for Detroit, CJ Henderson, rookie for Jacksonville, and J.K. Dobbins, NFL debut for Baltimore. All right, so yeah, how about that? Rookie auto and a Genesis in the uh, first box there. So let's just repeat that four more times. Uh, definitely gonna happen, guaranteed. Yeah, at the very least, uh, let's get some of the big QBs here. Uh, especially Burrow, because we've been cold on Burrow recently. Like, it's been like three breaks since we've gotten a card for him. So we are long overdue there. Definitely not overdue for uh, Tua or Herbert. But yeah, let's get them as well again. Let's also get a big prism for the guy on the back here, who you probably already saw. Okay, careful here. Ah, that corner. All right. Oh. There we go. All right. So here we go with box two. So yeah, the veteran base to lead it off here. And this time a green mosaic prism. Uh, Darius Slayton, second year for the Giants. Reactive gold prisms, we have Teddy Bridgewater for Carolina. Uh, Kenneth Murray, rookie for the LA Chargers. So getting the other Chargers rookies here, but still solid, still nice. Uh, Jarrett Stidham for New England and Brian Burns for Carolina. Uh, old school for the LA Rams, Jerome Bettis, and an old school for his subsequent team, uh, Terry Bradshaw, Green Mosaic for the Pittsburgh Steelers, Henry Ruggs, base rookie for Las Vegas, Mark Andrews, Pro Bowl, Baltimore, uh, Patrick Queen, rookie for Baltimore, and a Chase Claypool, NFL, mm, sorry, NFL debut rookie for Pittsburgh.
right, so box number three. Got a Gronk there. All right, a green mosaic prism for Ed Reed for the Baltimore Ravens. Reactive gold prisms, Mike uh, Jaziki for Miami. Earl Thomas for Baltimore. Barry Sanders Hall of Fame for Detroit. And TJ Watt for Pittsburgh. Uh, Brett Favre, will to win for Green Bay. Touchdown Masters Green Mosaic Prism, uh, Rob Gronkowski, <clears throat> excuse me, for Tampa Bay. Uh, Joshua Kelly, base rookie to go with the auto for the Chargers. Dan Marino, Hall of Fame for Miami. Lynn Bowden Jr., rookie for Vegas. And a Pro Bowl, Lamar Jackson for Baltimore. Here we go with box number four. All right, so we have a green mosaic prism rookie for Jacob Eason for the Colts. Oh, he's getting Eason prisms recently, too. Uh, so a green mosaic there for Eason and the Colts. Uh, MVP's reactive gold prism, Lamar Jackson for Baltimore. Tiki Barber for the Giants. Nick Chubb for Cleveland. And here we go, nice one for the Steelers. Chase Claypool, uh, reactive gold prism for SEGO 36 and the Steelers. Uh, base version for that one for Chase. Uh, Will to win Drew Locke for Denver. And a Got Game Green Mosaic Prism, Ryan Tannehill, Tennessee. Uh, Denzel Mims, base rookie for the Jets. Henry Ruggs, NFL debut rookie for the Raiders. Uh, Chase Claypool, base rookie as well for the Steelers. So three chases so far. And an MVP's Lamar Jackson for the Ravens. All right, and one more box to go here. So yeah, still need the quarterbacks, but let's uh, let's get one of them here. Let's close out the monster. What do you say? Didn't mean, <laughs> didn't mean to whisper it that ominously. number five. So here we go. Let's see how we uh, finish up here. And yeah, for those tuning in for Heritage, we will transition right over to that as soon as we are done here. Uh, green Mosaic Prism for Nick Bosa for San Francisco. Uh, reactive Gold Prisms for Zach Ertz, Philadelphia. Uh, Troy Aikman, Dallas. Van Jefferson, rookie for the LA Rams. And Brian Dawkins for Philly. Uh, old School John Elway for Denver. Uh, Patrick Mahomes Prism here. Green Mosaic, Will to Win 
uh, prism for Mahomes and Casey. So nice Patrick there. Uh, Derek Brown. <laughs> yeah, a lot of big pause there. Uh, Derek Brown, rookie for Carolina. Uh, Jerry Rice, Hall of Fame, San Francisco. Gabriel Davis, rookie for Buffalo. And an NFL debut, Cole Komet for the Chicago Bears. All right, everyone. So that will do it for the first break of the night for Mosaic. Uh, we will go ahead and transition over to 2020 Heritage here. So we're going to do a four-box, uh, one-third case break here for Heritage. Let's adjust that a little bit. And uh, yeah, that is scheduled for 12.30. So we are uh, fashionably late for that. It is 12.32 right now, but we are uh, ready to go for this. And it looks like don't have to worry about any teams here, except for the one that didn't sell, which was Arizona. So if anyone is still interested in them, uh, just let me know. But yeah, otherwise we are good to go. Uh, so yeah, first uh, fresh case we've started with in a while. First hobby break we've done in a while. So should be fun. Uh, we've done Heritage, like, we've done hobby breaks for, like, Minor League Heritage, and we did 2019 high number one time. So that was pretty solid. But yeah, overall... Um, oh, you did! Okay. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. I did think you meant uh, just for Mosaic at first, but yeah, no worries, Shadow. Just put you down for Arizona as well. All right, so Heritage is all sold and accounted for here. Uh, all right, so here's who we have, alphabetical by city, by division. Actually, just a second. All right, so Baltimore and Boston, both Mike and Maine. Uh, New York Yankees, Edgar 72, Villarreal. Uh, Tampa Bay, North 62-17, Toronto, B. Dijon 1, Chicago White Sox, Billy 1189, uh, Cleveland, Urban 3947, Detroit, Orange Nukes, uh, Kansas City, Mike and Maine, Minnesota, A16601, Houston, Duffy 1, uh, LA Angels, uh, Bahokid, right? Yeah, Urbanokid, sorry. Uh, Oakland, A16601, Seattle, Bono Keed, uh, Texas, A16601, uh, Atlanta, sorry, Atlanta, Mike and Maine, Miami, Shadow Wolf 3000, New York Mets, Duffy 1, Philly, A16601, Washington, Duffy 1, Chicago Cubs, Urban 3947, Cincinnati, LDNH91512, Milwaukee and Pittsburgh, uh, Duffy 1 for both. St. Louis, Bono Kid, uh, Arizona, Shadow Wolf 3000, Colorado, Urban 3947, LA Dodgers, D-Rock 08, uh, San Diego, Bono Kid, San Francisco, A16601, and the non-team cards go into Shadow Wolf 3000. Uh, so yeah, I saw, uh, saw a few familiar names there that I haven't uh, seen in a while, so welcome back, you guys. And yeah, I don't want to Shake the table too much here, but we are going to show off the new case here. Bring it around town. And one more time. Alright, so yeah, we're going to take... <laughs> there we go. Alright, I this table is disconcertingly light compared to this case here, but it has survived, so should be okay. Uh, let's see, should have, okay, three boxes on top. All right, so, uh, hey, it is 2020 Heritage. Good. <laughs> Just in case, there's gonna be a little concern there, and it is the hobby version, awesome. Um, all right, so for the second row, I will let you guys choose uh, the left, middle, or right box. Uh, 
whoever says first. That will be <laughs> the one I choose. Uh, so, which one do you guys want? Or I can just take a random one. Five, four, three, yeah, this isn't... This isn't something to delay over. Uh, which one is going to be the easiest to take out here? The middle one. All right. So this is our hot... Oh, you said middle anyway. All right. That is a good sign. That is going to be our hot box right there. Ugh, let's get that out of the way. And we got our four boxes. All right. So we'll start with this one here. And... I mean, I know the case was already sealed and whatnot, but still like to show off mm, every side of the box, too. All right, so yeah, uh, looking forward to this quite a bit. Uh, a few things I want to say before every break. Uh, first of all, all cards, including base, including for breaks with substantially more cards, like this one, uh, all cards get shipped out. Uh, for Heritage in particular, I guess a few things specifically. Uh, that's right, box toppers. So, I think we're going to have a mix if uh, the previous breaks are any indications. So, this one is a 71 uh, buyback, and I think we have like Super Baseball stuff too, and a few other things like that. Posters, I think. Uh, so, for Heritage... Um, Definitely, uh, if there are, like, any variations that I miss, and uh, if you do see them, please let me know, and absolutely, I will go back to that card in an instant. Uh, I think there's one where the variation's on the back, so I'll try to make sure the back of every card is visible, too. I mean, I'm not gonna, like, stall and hold them one by one or anything, but I do just want to make sure I don't miss that. I think it's, like, the... French text one, I want to say, where there's nothing on the front that would indicate it's a variation. Not 100% sure on that, but, um, but yeah, and we'll try to find the action variations, even though I know there are more base action cards this time around. Uh, there are also a few cards in the set, including, mm, including, sorry, the Yordan slash Aquino dual rookie where it is split between teams so uh, what I normally do for that is I, I just go like top to bottom so if we get two then you know one for each so on and so forth third one goes to the player on top uh, for that one specifically I might randomize it and for any bigger hits that are multi-team um, special parallels, numbered cards, anything like that, those will be randomized as well. But for regular base cards, except for that Yordan uh, Aquino duel, uh, it'll just go back and forth, top to bottom, left to right. Mm, excuse me. In terms of where that goes. Ah, but yeah, like I said, it has been a while since I've done a Heritage Hobby break, so I have to re acclimate myself to uh, the odds for some of these cards. I'm trying to remember which variations are the most short printed. Uh, I know the throwback is a huge one. And that one we actually got in the Mega Box break we did for uh, 2019, not too long ago. We got in a ton for that. So that was pretty sick. Let's make something like that happen again. Uh, wrappers flying around everywhere. And, uh, oh, so yeah, I might miss uh, base short prints. Uh, um, there are a few, like, there's some that I know offhand, and of course it trends more towards superstars, but, um, yeah, if I do miss them, uh, obviously. They're still there, they're still pulled, and they're still going out. But I might end up missing a few of those. And again, if you would like for me to go back to any card like that, absolutely, definitely can do that. Alright, 
So everything is opened up for the first box. Let me take a quick drink and then let's dig in. All right, so we will start with the uh, 50th anniversary pack. So an original 1971 card. All right, shit, careful there. Putting one card inside of a pack wrapper. A vintage card at that. <laughs> Not totally sure about that, but that one is uh, Luke Walker for the Pittsburgh Pirates with a vintage buyback there. All right, and here we go with box number one. So yeah, good luck to all. Should be another fun break. Let's do it. Uh, oh, sorry. LA Dodgers dual rookie, Josh Spores and Tony Gonsolin. Uh, Rangers dual rookie, Solak and Burke. Adbert Alzale and Nico Horner, dual rookie for the Cubs. Dustin May, Gavin Lux, dual rookie, LA Dodgers. Uh, Fergie Jenkins, Steven Strasburg, then and now dual. So if we get two of those, uh, the second one will go to Strasburg. That one will go to Fergie. Uh, Alex Young, Zach Gallon, dual rookie, Arizona. Diamondbacks, dual, Leba and Rojas. All right, and we have a white border here for Brandon and Nimmo for the New York Mets. So, is that just a white border variation? Is that what it's called? Let me check real quick. Uh, the odds are on the box there. They're not. All right. So, that is for Brandon Nimmo. Let me just make sure there. Yeah, white border, 1 in 67 packs. So, nice short, mm, sorry, nice short print for Nimmo there and the Mets. And, uh... Sorry, Duffy won for Nimmo. Uh, Mariners triple rookie with Kyle Lewis. So we're on the board with Kyle there. So yeah, I think that judge is the base version. Uh, flashback 71. Go on the Mars. leaders. So the middle stack here, uh, we got something, and I think the Altuve is just the base there, and not in action. Uh, we have a bronze uh, clubhouse collection jersey card here for Jose Ramirez for the Cleveland Indians, hand numbered 18 out of 99. So nice Jose Ramirez jersey here. That one is going to Urban 3947. So yeah, pretty close to MVP there. He had a pretty good case, but yeah, huge year regardless. So yeah, nice Ramirez jersey. Uh, flashback 71, Disney World. Starting slow, uh-oh. 
Uh, Logan Allen Yu Chang, rookie for Cleveland. Uh, Trent Grisham, Mauricio Dubon, rookie. So that one's a split. Uh, first one will go to Grisham. Same with Marvel and Agrizal. Angels dual rookie, Sandoval and Thais. Orioles dual rookie, Hunter Harvey, Dylan Tate. Uh, Hank Aaron, flashback 71 for the Braves. All right, so again, I think that's the base. Just a little harder to tell for these, so I, I don't think I'll miss an action variation. If I did happen to do so, then absolutely, I will find it. And yeah, I know like some of the base rookies are not even in action. They're just regular cards, and that's the variation. It's, uh, is it the Machado, maybe? Okay, hold on a second. I apologize here. The code on the back is really hard to read. So, sorry about that. Just... Trying to remember Machado's original photo there. So that might have been it. Uh, I will check. Or Albert Pujols. Eugenio Suarez, New Age Performers for Cincinnati. See, I think there's still one per box. And yeah, the third stack here, Logan Webb at Tyler Rogers duel for the Giants. Josh Stalmont, Bubba Starling duel for KC. Jorge Soler. That is in action as well. Or is in action. I don't know if it's in action. Uh, Yaz flashback for Boston. Yeah, Ray leaders. Yep, Verlander's a short print for Houston. All right, and, oh, all right, we got a nice refractor here uh, for the L.A. Dodgers dual rookie refractor, Dustin May and Gavin Lux. All right, there we go. That is a nice one right there, and that is going to DRock08. Uh, so, yeah, one of the best rookies in the set. We got a refractor for it, May slash Lux. That is going to be numbered 339 out of 571 there. So yeah, a really nice refractor rookie for the Dodgers, May and Lux. Then and now, Tony Oliva, Tim Anderson. Uh, we have a Bichette and K dual rookie for Toronto. Yadier Molina. Wait, no, that's not a short print. That's right. He's just number 400. That is a short print, though. Fernando Tatis Jr., uh, Rookie Cup for the San Diego Padres. So, a nice one there. 
Okay, so yes, I was pretty sure it was the Machado and not the other ones that were the action variation, and that was correct. So we have a base Machado uh, to go with that, and the first one was an action. So that is also for San Diego. Uh, George Springer, New Age Performers for Houston. All right, because, yeah, I had a good part of the photos for the base set memorized, so I knew, like, okay, Aaron Judge, he's just, like, most of the Yankees are normally just in action for the main photos. But yeah, the Machado. That one felt a little bit different, so I'm glad I guessed that correctly. And, yeah, if I'm ever unsure, then I'll just say, okay, the photos of a guy in action, so it might be... And I'll go back and check. Yeah. I wish the back of the card was easier to read, though. All right, so for box two, we have a Baseball's Greatest Moments card. So that's a little bit jumbo there. So yeah, nice, uh, very nice rookie refractor in that first box for the Dodgers. So that, uh, yeah, for Dustin May and Gavin Lux. So yeah, let's get more refractors like that. Uh, need to get some real one action here as well. Uh, I think with hobby uh, boxes, it's like three or four per case normally for the autos. Not 100% on that. So yeah, about right with the autograph odds. So the base real ones are 1 in 110. So all of them together, on average, should do one per break. So hopefully one of those comes in tonight, for sure. And yeah, then you get into the uh, red parallels, and I think they're just called special editions, and the patch autos and whatnot. So we will start with the Greatest Moments pack. All right, be careful there. All right, so this one is going to be Johnny Bench for the Cincinnati Reds, Game's Greatest Moments. 
1971. Looks like it was from the All-Star game. All right. So here we go with the regular cards for box number two. Uh, the Doors. Yeah, Jim Morrison died that year. So there's the commemorative card for it, I guess. Jeez. All right, Hunter Dozier looks to be in action there. Don't know if he had a variation, though. Uh, another Spores and Gonsolin rookie for the Dodgers. Uh, another base rookie for Dustin May and Gavin Lux. So two base and one refractor. Right, Clayton Kershaw, that's right, he's just the base for this. Uh, flashback, Steve, or sorry, Carlton Fisk uh, for the Red Sox there. I think he was with them, yeah, in 71. Uh, Albert Alzale and Nico Horner rookie. Alex Young, Zach Gallen, Cubs and Diamondbacks, respectively. Uh, Diamondback Stool, Leba and Rojas. Mariners Triple Rookie, another one for Kyle Lewis. Oh, sorry, yeah, I didn't think I showed back there. New Age Performers, Jorge Soler, Kansas City. stack here for box two. Uh, Astros triple rookie, Abreu Toro and Armenteros, uh, Miguel Cabrera, is that just his base design there? I think it was actually for Detroit. If not, then that was a variation. I don't believe so. Uh, JD Davis Chrome for the New York Mets. So that one is going to be numbered uh, 771 of 999 JD Davis for the New York Mets. So that numbered Chrome for JD is going to Duffy 1 and the Mets. Uh, Max Scherzer, I think that was the base, too, for the Nationals. Okay, so it looks like it ends in 13, the number at the end there. Yeah, sorry, it's just uh, hard to read the uh, code on the back there. Uh, then and now... Tory and Rendon, so first one goes to Tory. Grisham and Dubone rookie. So yeah, those were uh, for also, oh, sorry, also for Marvel and Agrizal, those were the second cards, so those will be split. Logan Allen Yu Chang, another duel. Uh, all right, we have another white border here. Uh, John Lester for the Chicago Cubs. So a white border short print there. 
So yeah, for the Cubs, uh, that one is going to Urban 39 of 47, John Lester. Uh, yeah, so not an action pose for the Yankees there, but that is the base Garrett Cole. Since he wasn't playing for them the year before. Uh, Sandoval and Thais, Yamamoto and Diaz, Angels and Marlins rookies. Webb and Rogers, San Francisco. Jose Barrios, New Age Performers, Minnesota, Harvey and Tate for Baltimore, so yeah, the CC was a base too, right? Severino, okay, so they weren't all in action for the Yankees. And the final third for the second box, uh, we're going to have a Clubhouse Collection jersey card for Buster Posey for the San Francisco Giants, so A16601. Uh, we have a Posey Clubhouse Collection jersey there for San Francisco. So yeah, I think the Scott Kingery base was just showing him in action. Flashback 71. Back to the moon. Or to the moon and back. <laughs> Savage Garden Classic right there. Oh yeah. A classic, right? Yeah. Indubitably. All right, so Fernando Tatis Jr., New Age Performers for San Diego. Andrew Heaney in action there. Don't think that would be it. Uh, oh, I think this is probably it, because uh, this is a regular uh, rookie photo there, Sean Murphy, I believe, for the Oakland A's, I think. So if so, then that is the variation there for A16601 and Oakland. Because I don't think there were any rookies with solo cards here, but the layout was, oh, that might have been it. Yeah, that's it right there. All right. Uh, Beau Bichette variation there for the Toronto Blue Jays. There, excuse me. There we go, yep. Action label on the back. Okay, that also makes it easier. <laughs> so yeah, that is an action variation there. Of Beau Bichette standing there for the Toronto Blue Jays. Yeah, big hit for Toronto there. B. Dijon won. So yeah, welcome back, man. And uh, yeah, we got a big one for you there. Beau Bichette, action variation for the Blue Jays. Uh, Nolan Ryan, flashback 71 for the Mets as well. All right, so just a sec.
So yeah, another nice one for one of the big rookies there. First it was the uh, May and Lux Refractor, and then the Beau Bichette Action Variation. So yeah, Toronto. Big one there, and we do have two boxes to go here, so we should not be done there. San Diego, of course, getting the first action with Manny Machado. All right, so our box topper here is going to be another 71 buyback. Or are they buying them back, or do they just keep them all in a warehouse somewhere? Put a little stamp on them, <laughs> probably. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, the Bichette will be going in a sleeve and a top loader. So yeah, no question about that. Yeah, I mean, technically I put like every, like even every insert goes in a sleeve, and usually most of the rookies do too. So yeah, anything bigger than that, of course, without question, goes in a sleeve. But yeah, that kind of left me confused about that Sean Murphy, because he's a rookie, right? He's a rookie in the other sets, right? I'm not mixing him up with the avalanche of other A's rookies there, right? So maybe he doesn't have a dual card. Maybe that's one thing, but doesn't have like a RC logo either. I thought that was the action there for that reason. So for box number three, uh, we have a 71 card here. So let's see what we got. All right, so this one is uh, John Matthias or Matias for Kansas City. Uh, we have a Jordan Alvarez Aristides Aquino duel. So yeah, I'll set that aside. If we get two, those will be split evenly. If we just get one, and we'll do a quick roll of the dice for a randomization for that. 
Uh, we had a New Age Performers, Shane Bieber for Cleveland. Uh, Bryce Harper, short print for Philly. Uh, Blue Jays dual rookie, Zoish and Ramada. Munoz and Baez rookie for San Diego. Uh, Fernandez and Arosa Reyna. All right, so we're on the board with Randy here for St. Louis. Have a rookie for him. America gets mobile on the moon. All right. Uh, Vlad Jr. Rookie Cup for Toronto. And that is a short print there for 14. All right, and coming up, it looks like we have another refractor here. Uh, yes, we do. So this one is a Jacob deGrom uh, refractor for the New York Mets. So nice one there. For the Mets, uh, that is 255 out of 571. We had a white border Brandon Nimmo for the Mets earlier as well. So, uh, yeah, nice one for the Mets there. That is Duffy One, Jacob DeGrom Refractor. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of drifted there. Uh, flashback 71, Willie Stargell for Pittsburgh. Uh, is the Urias? Yes, the Urias is a short print for the Dodgers. Sorry, we have another jersey card here, this time uh, Mitch Hanniger for Seattle. Uh, clubhouse collection and jersey card there for the Mariners. So that one for Seattle is going to uh, Bonakid. Alexander and Rogers dual rookie for Detroit. Uh, then and now, Tori and Yelich. Aaron Sivale, Bobby Bradley rookie uh, duel for Cleveland. Yelich is just the base. Bauer is too. Uh, flashback 71, Evil Knievel. Royals dual rookie, Stalmont and Starling. Twins dual, Thorpe and Gratterall. Osuna, uh, Roberto Osuna, short print for Houston. Uh, all right, so this should be the action variation here. Uh, Justin Verlander for the Houston Astros. Yes, it is. 
All right, so Houston getting uh, an action here as well. Duffy won. Justin Verlander. <laughs> Sorry for the dip again there. Uh, Justin Verlander for the Astros. I look away and the cards kind of drift, so my bad there. Luis Castillo, New Age Performers for Cincinnati. All right, and let's move that over a bit. All right, so Shohei Otani. That is a short print for the LA Angels. Uh, another Beau Bichette, Anthony K, dual rookie for Toronto. Uh, Johnny Bench, flashback 71 for Cincinnati. Regular inserts should be more common here. Uh, Nick Solak, Brock Burke, rookie for the Rangers. Guess the odds are way steeper than they are for retail normally. Uh, there's one then and now, Jim Palmer, Garrett Cole. Uh, so the Ramirez is not an action variation. That's just his main photo. Uh, Pete Alonzo, Rookie Cup, and that is a short print for the Mets. Uh, Brendan McKay, Mike Brosteau, Rookie for Tampa Bay. Oakland Triple Rookie, Puck, Brown, and Luzardo. Uh, Rockies Dual Rookie, Nunez and Hilliard. All right, just a sec. All right, and here we go on to our fourth and final box here. So yeah, three for three on a Jersey card so far. So let's make the fourth an auto. Still need a huge variation, maybe a black refractor. Or would they have that for this year? <laughs> maybe not. Maybe it's something different. Uh, we do have a rarer box topper here. So we have a super baseball. Exact odds for okay, super baseball is one in five, so a little bit rarer than the other two, but they do make up the overwhelming majority of box numbers. Looks like they don't have the posters this time around.
All right, so here we go with our fourth and final box here. Let's close out with the big one. Uh, first, we're going to start with our Super Baseball box stopper here. So, careful there. All right, this one is going to be a Jordan Alvarez rookie. So, nice one there for the Houston Astros, Jordan Alvarez. And Duffy won with a Super Baseball box topper rookie card there. All right, and for the cards, uh, Harvey and Tate dual rookie for the O's. Uh, Austin Meadows, New Age Performers, Tampa Bay. So we have uh, actually another white border variation here, this time Scott Oberg for Colorado. So Urban3947 getting a second uh, white border there. Had a uh, John Lester for the Cubs earlier. And the third one was Brandon Nimmo for the Mets. So yeah, I think it was one in 67 packs. So three in four boxes, not bad. Uh, Burt Blylevin, flashback for Minnesota. Gonsolin and Spores, another rookie for the Dodgers. Uh, Adbert Alzale, Nico Horner, dual rookie for the Cubs. Uh, Dustin May, Gavin Lux, another duel for the Dodgers. Uh, another Gallon slash Young dual rookie for Arizona. Uh, Nunez Hilliard duel for Colorado. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> so sorry about that. Uh, yeah, we just had an auto there. I didn't really see the signature at first, but yeah, I was like, wait a minute, that's a that's a base rookie, that's something different, but yeah, uh, we do, so sorry about that, we do have an auto there, a real one rookie autograph for Justin Dunn and the Seattle Mariners, so Bono Keed, uh, that one is going to you, Justin Dunn, real one uh, rookie autograph there, so yeah, we do end up getting an auto here at the very end, or yeah, the last box. Still a lot of cards to go, but yeah, the last box there. Justin Dunn for Seattle. Uh, Jordan Alvarez, New Age Performers for Houston. Uh, Astros triple rookie, Abreu, Toro, and Armenteros. Uh, 
Uh, then and now, Palmer and Verlander. Uh, Zach Collins, Dylan Cease, dual rookie for the White Sox. Uh, oh, all right. Here's a pretty big short print here. Uh, silver name variation or team nickname uh, for Cody Bellinger for the L.A. Dodgers. All right, so another nice uh, short print for the Dodgers here. We had the May and Lux Refractor rookie earlier, and this one won in 265. Uh, silver nickname or team name variation there for Cody Bellinger and the L.A. Dodgers and... DRock 08. So, yeah, nice Cody there uh, towards the end. Allen and Chang dual rookie for Cleveland. Uh, Starbucks flashback 71. Grisham and Dubon dual rookie. Marvel and Agrizal. Uh, Sandoval and Thice for the Angels. All right, and one more third of a box to go here. Uh, that should be a short print. Ronald Acuna Jr. for Atlanta. Yes, it is. All right, yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, I've done uh, done really well with this so far, I think. And uh, yeah, the Heritage uh, Heritage Hobby Breaks. You've done a few before, and they've always been pretty fun. So this has been a pretty good reminder of that. Uh, Joe Frazier, seventy one flashback. Uh, U Darvish, short print for the Cubs. All right, so yeah, I think we're still looking for an action here. And I know it's not technically one in every box, actually. It's one in 27, but I'm thinking we should get one. Uh, Logan Webb, Tyler Rogers, dual rookie for the Giants. Then and now, uh, Hunter and Verlander. Uh, Leba and Rojas, a dual rookie for Arizona. Another Kyle Lewis, triple rookie here for the M's towards the end. Tim Anderson, New Age Performers, for the White Sox. All right, so that'll do it for the fourth and final box. And yeah, I don't think I saw an action there, but uh, if there was, definitely please correct me on that. And when I'm going through and sorting all this, of course, um, I'll definitely check to make sure and uh, give it the appropriate protection, I guess, if need be. But... Um, yeah, we did have that other variation, though, the uh, Bellinger, the silver team name, so that was a pretty big short print there. All right, everyone, so that will do it for tonight's break. Uh, we will randomize that one Jordan and Aquino dual rookie. And yeah, with the other ones with multi-teams, uh, we were going to go top to bottom or left to right uh, for this one. Did want to randomize it, and uh, yeah, we'll... Just do a quick roll of the dice here. So, haven't done this before for randomizing, but we got a 27, or sorry, 20 sided die here. If it is an odd number, 
where it lands, it will go to uh, Yordan and the Astros. So option number one, if it's an even number, it will go to Aquino and the Reds. And whoever doesn't get this, I'll throw in a different rookie for the same player. So no worries. Both of y'all will be getting something out of this, but we will just randomize to see where this particular duel goes. All right, so we got to show the camera there. That is number 12. So, uh, yeah, that wasn't really that flat on top there, but yeah, <laughs> that is 12. Uh, yeah, going a little weirdly old-fashioned there, but uh, yeah, so that will go to Aquino and the Reds as an even number, but I will throw in uh, a different Jordan rookie for the Astros. So uh, both, both of y'all will be getting something for that. And yeah, we had the uh, Jordan box topper as well, so that's a nice throw in too. Well, not a throw in, I mean, it's part of the break, but you know. <laughs> All right, so, mm, excuse me. Ah, so that will do it for uh, tonight's break. Uh, we do have two more breaks tomorrow, and all of them will be put together to be shipped out on Monday. Uh, or Tuesday, actually. Uh, depends on how long the sorting process is, but hopefully on Monday. If not, then Tuesday at the latest. Uh, the two breaks we have for tomorrow night are another Chronicles solo pack break for basketball, 2019 to 20, and then the huge uh, 84 or cello pack mixer for football. So yeah, I had a lot of different stuff just kind of hanging out there. We're putting it all together here. Uh, 84 cello packs, 2019 and 2020 football, including three mosaics. So there's the headliner there. Uh, lots of score, mostly score actually. And yeah, that particular break does have the distinction of veteran base cards uh, being left out, but everything else gets shipped out for that. So otherwise it would be like 5,000 cards or, well, not that much, but something ridiculous. But uh, yeah, everything that isn't a veteran base will go out for that uh, football break tomorrow. But yeah, for tonight, uh, like I said, the plan hopefully is to have these out on Monday, Tuesday at the latest. Uh, we'll be sorting through them probably on Sunday. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, I think that pretty much covers everything. So yeah, thank you guys once again for joining in tonight, and as always, hope you all had fun, hope your teams did well, and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Peace out.